Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to February's wrap up. Now if you guys are just interested in what came out February 2023, there will be timestamps down below. Now I am going to try to organize the timeline a little bit. So we're going to have rewatches. We're going to have like Oscar nominated movies, which is just going to be this month. You know what? I think I might go ahead and incorporate the last Oscar nominated movie on here no never mind because i think there's still a couple more movies that i do plan on watching as far as like performances so we'll leave that last one for march which is avatar is the last best picture nominee that i watched but i watched it in march um so we have those we have the 20 the february 2023 releases we'll have 2023 just general releases and then we'll have first time watches which will be from 2022 back uh, so that's kind of how everything's gonna be organized I feel like. Let me know down below what you think about that. We're gonna go ahead and get on with this recap. Of course we're starting off with rewatches. One of my favorite like all-time movies like if I did do that favorite 100 movies of all time this movie would be on there that should go unchained. Absolutely love it. Love me some Quentin Tarantino. It's just an all-time favorite movie of mine. We're gonna move on to 16 Candles. It's another movie that I really, really love. This is a girl who's turning 16 and her sister decided to do her wedding on her 16th birthday. Let me just say this. <laughs> I'll be damning my sister's trying to get married on my birthday. No. Oh, hell no. It's just a really good feel good movie. I absolutely love the movie. It's not like an absolute favorite, not like top 100 movies. But then we're going to move on to Titanic. This is actually the first time that I experienced this movie in theaters. We did not go to the movies when this came out uh, the first time around. Why you may ask? Well, back in the day, we didn't go to the movies as much as we do now. But I really love Titanic. It's another one that I'm just going to put there and love it. And I just absolutely loved experiencing this in theaters. Because like when I told you I got sucked in, it felt like almost like a first time watch. But when the ship was about to hit the iceberg, right? I mean, obviously, you know, it's going to hit it, right? I've seen the movie many, many times. But I was like so tense up and I was like, oh my God, is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? And then like, I turn over and I tell my sister, I'm like, why, why am I acting like if it's going to hit? I know the ship's going to hit the iceberg. I don't know if you guys do this because every single time I watch this movie, I just know where it is. That would, part one of the VHS ended and we had to, you know, take it out to put the first one. But we're moving on to the Oscar nominated category. And the next two are actual documentaries. We have Novelty. This is on HBO Max, y'all. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, that is an awesome documentary. Love, 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 love this documentary. It's based off of Alexis Novelli, who is up against Putin. And basically his assassination attempt. He's trying to get stronger after his like poisoning situation that happened. And then trying to return back home to continue his fight. Watch this documentary, you guys. This is like possibly like one of my favorite documentaries. It's very, very entertaining. Like he literally goes, which one of these are like the dumbest people that we can prank call? Like it's so, so good. And then just kind of of course where he is. And this is just something that just happened like two, two years ago, I think it was a year or two years ago. So it's very like modernized or whatever. They talk about TikTok and everything, but it's so, so good, so entertaining. It's not one of those documentaries that's like more on the dollar side, but still informative because there's a lot of those that I still enjoy, but you're like not as, as entertaining, you know? But then we're moving on to Fire of Love and this one you can find on Disney Plus. Now this one is not as entertaining as Novelty. This one is more on the dollar side, but it's still like very informative, still very, it's still a good documentary, but it's not one that I would say you really have to watch. Unlike Novelty, I've seen the story of Mauricio and uh, Natia, I think that was her name. Uh, no, Katia, Katia, sorry. Um, this married couple, these nerdy people who love, love, love volcanoes. Like they loved each other, but their first love were volcanoes and they went over there erupting and like when it was erupting like literally like right by it and like exploring and doing all the research and you know everything volcano it's one of those that has like the voiceovers like we're seeing just like their their video clips because they documented everything because that's how they made a living it was a pretty okay documentary because like i said it was it's not that long but it, i wish it was a little bit more entertaining then we have women talking uh the next three are best picture uh nominees women talking this one is based off of a true story about this village where the disgusting men in that community would drug and rape the women. 
and I mean of course a lot of these women would end up pregnant it's very here okay there's nothing like crazy happening you don't see like the rape scene or anything that it's just talked about it's a really 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 good story really really liked it it's one that I don't really plan on rewatching again do we stay and do nothing do we stay and fight or do we leave Google scared the shit out of me, y'all. It's a really great movie. I will say that. The performances were really great. I'm surprised that nobody, like none of the women were actually nominated for like an Oscar for their performance because they already did really, really good. Then we're gonna move on to Triangle of Sadness. Okay, so this is one that I keep hearing a lot of people say, little bastards. I'm gonna call them out. Y'all are, fuck you. I always want y'all to think of me as your friend who's just telling you about a movie. We're not really going really deep diving, right? Like all technical and stuff. Like, no, I'm just your friend telling you about stuff, right? They just say that one scene, that one scene, if you've seen the movie, you know what scene. Please warn people about this scene because this scene is not just like a scene. This is like a 10 minute scene or something like that. It's disgusting y'all. The sea is a little bit angry. It's dinner time. They're serving them seafood. I think you know where it's going. I mean, you literally see it leading up to it. The whole time I'm like, oh my God, I would be so seasick. I'm gonna be sick. And you see the passengers and I'm like, they're gonna get sick. When I tell you we have like this long ass scene of projectile vomiting, you guys, literally projectile vomiting. Let me turn off my phone. I thought I had turned it off. Desiree has a gag reflex. Like she can even hear people throwing up. And so I was just like, oh my God, close your eyes, close your eyes. Cause it's like, it's still happening. And it's just like going and going and then it goes into like the shits. Fudge those other movie critics who don't tell you what actually is happening. I'm gonna tell y'all, spoiler alert, but I'm pretty sure y'all would appreciate me spoiling that for you. The whole part, first part for me was useless, okay? Um, it's a weird ass movie and uh, the third part definitely when they're on the island is the best part. It's the most entertaining thing. But it's, it's a strange movie. It's not one I would personally have nominated. I would have preferred to have seen something like The Northman, The Menu, uh, Babylon, The Batman. I feel like something like that definitely, or even like Cha Cha Real Smooth. I feel like those would have been better options versus this one because I don't, it was just, I don't know, I didn't, it wasn't for me. Um, It was just an okay movie also. I just, I, the whole vomiting scene was just like, it was, it was a strange one. And I love satires. I really, really do. But that whole first part of it just really took me out of it. The vomiting scene was just like, it was just too much. It went on too long. And then like what happened shortly after that? <laughs> I was just like, me and Deborah, we were like, what the heck? <laughs> it's a movie, y'all. Okay. Then we're going to move on to Tar. Okay. <sighs> I have heard many things about this movie, right? That it's dull, it's long, it's gonna be like this like character pre, pe priest, piece, <laughs> you know, like uh, Kate Blanchett's uh, performance is something that it's gonna be studied in schools and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I get it. Kate, you know, Kate Blanchett's performance is outstanding. I mean, she's it's her against Michelle Yeoh for the Oscar race. It's like, who's gonna win it? Woo! We don't know. Before I watched this movie, I was kind of getting my like thoughts and notes and I was really ready to compare this to Chadwick Boseman and Anthony Hopkins, right? It's like we got Chadwick, aka Michelle over here, and then we have Anthony with Kate, right? We want one to win the most, but maybe the other one deserves it over the other one. That's kind of what I was getting from everybody talking about these this movie, right? That Kate's performance. Wow, and this, 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 and that. She's the one that deserves the Oscar versus Michelle. Blah, blah, blah. So let's call the movie. It took me two days to watch it, y'all. It's on Peacock. Um, you can check it out on Peacock. It is very dull. It is, it, I, it was weird. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get, this movie just wasn't for me, y'all. It just wasn't for me. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I just, I, I didn't, I didn't get it at all. Uh, I honestly kept thinking it was gonna go in one direction and it never went in the direction that I was thinking of. As there's parts that I was like, oh, we're gonna get a little bit darker, maybe like Black Swan type of deal. Oh, it's gonna get kind of creepy, dark. It, it never went there. Even Desiree was all like, I didn't get it either. And it took her to, cause we were, she didn't wanna watch it with me, but we basically watched it at the same time cause we finished it the same day. Again, two days to finish it. 
And she literally texts me. She goes, sister, this movie is so boring. I go, I know it is. So as you can tell for this right here, you're gonna kind of see, get a sense of where they're gonna be when I rank all 10 Best Picture nominees because that video is coming. I guess I'll put it under okay because it's better than you tried. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. Like, I feel like there should be something else over there. But for me, Michelle Yeoh is still the better performance, is still the one that should win, that I want to win and should win. And Kate, yes, she gave an amazing performance, but Michelle, like, I mean, she did, like, a lot more, I feel like, in the movie. And I don't know, y'all. She's a conductor, and I don't know. I didn't get it. Okay, we're going on. We're here, 2023. If you skipped on over to just what came out in February 2023, then you are in the right place. We're starting off with Netflix. Your place or mine. We got Reese Witherspoon. We got Ashton Kutcher. This is the first time that they're together. We got some like early, you know, like 90s, 2000 rom-com people kind of coming back together. Rom-coms nowadays, I'm not really jiggy for them. I used to love rom-coms, but nowadays, I don't know. They're um, they're not for me either. <laughs> like, they're just too much. I kind of went in with higher expectations with this. I should have known something was happening because I didn't watch it right away when it came out. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like this one. I'm just gonna say it tried because <laughs> it just Reese is just. I don't even know, you guys. I didn't really like it. It's not one that I would rewatch. It's not somebody that I would recommend. Some, somebody something something I would recommend if I could talk right so then we're moving on to Magic Mike the last dance y'all did want to re-watch the movies but then I remember that that heifer comes out in part one is it and I'm like full-on like you know Johnny Depp is my husband I refuse to watch anything that that heifer is in which then makes me hate her even more because then now I can't watch Pineapple Express and I freaking love Pineapple Express I'm a hike is here she's like a little rich bitch but very very fancy so the dances of course were really really good but then we kind of get into where we're getting the other dancers and we go into like this montage and it goes, of course, you know, you always need a montage. And it just, I don't know. It, it, it has very odd pacing with it. I will say that I think this is the, if I, from the ones that I remember, because I, I, if I recall correctly, part two, damn it, it's kind of really remember them. I know there's parts of part two that I liked. I think I like part two over part one. But I think I like part three overall from all of them. Uh, but again, it's been years since I've seen the other two. It was another one that was just, it was just an okay movie. It was just okay movie. If you want to get your freak on, then watch it. But otherwise, I think you can pass on it. Just wait for it to stream. Uh, then we have A Knock on the Cabin. This is an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Always hit and miss, right, with him. Um, I did enjoy Old. I know a lot of people did not like it. But this one, wow, it is very good. Very, very good. I'm gonna put it under great. I honestly really, really liked it. Um, we're in a cabin. We have these four people coming up here knocking with this family. It is all like, one of y'all's gonna have to die. The other one's gonna have to kill you. We can't do anything, but if you don't do this, the whole world's gonna die. So yeah, have, somebody's gonna have to make a sacrifice, right? It gets so crazy. Of course, he is known for his twist, and the twist here wasn't like, oh my god. The twist wasn't like like that, right? And it wasn't like, oh my god, that's so stupid. Like everything worked very nicely for me. I think I did a TikTok review on this one, and uh, and then I have a TikTok review. No, I do have a review on the next one, which is Cocaine Bear. Wow, this is directed by Elizabeth Banks, and um, it is about a bear who found some cocaine in the woods, and now he's addicted to the cocaine, and there's a lot of mayhem. This is my, like, this is my type of movie, y'all. This kind of ridiculous movie where, like, everybody in the movie knows exactly what type of movie they're making. So nobody like overdoes it or is in another movie. Like everybody is just like here in the same space and it's really, really, really good. Uh, Ray Liotta is in this movie and this was actually his last film before um, he did pass away. <laughs> I hear that Elizabeth Banks may be doing another movie called Cocaine Shark. I don't really know how that was gonna work out with the shark and the cocaine in the water. I'm assuming maybe like like I'm thinking like contraband, you know, when they like dump it and the shark gets it. 
I don't, I don't know. I guess because it's very, very well packaged, right? Because they have to well package everything. But if you're into these type of ridiculous movies, and I don't feel like this was like overly ridiculous, then I think this, you could have a really good time for it. I, I really, really loved it. So I'm going to put it over here and loved it. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun. Not one that you necessarily need to rush to the theater to watch. But if you are into like these type of ridiculous movies, then you know, it, you can check it out in these. Otherwise, just wait for it to stream. But I think it's worth a watch if, again, you're into these kind of like really ridiculous films. Because uh, this is one of the good ones. It's not just like a dumbass movie. Again, not for me personally. Now, Desiree and myself, we did like it better than Eddie did. These are the movies that I watched this month. Let me know down below what did you guys watch. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree with like the new stuff that I watch? I mean, I feel like if anything, I'm going to get some some feedback on tar maybe i don't know i don't care it just didn't work for me all right uh but yeah that's it for me today and if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming uh videos i want to thank everybody out there because we have officially passed 500 subscribers i mean we're just like right over it so hopefully nobody else subscribes because we're like yay it's, it's fun I, it took me a long time so now we're going to be on the road to a thousand so if you guys are new consider subscribing and helping to grow out and that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>